How much has each Live player made since signing up? The Live Golf Series, to many of the former PGA Tour players, is a life changer. To some, a career boost, and to a host of others, a retirement plan. Not only are there hefty sums of money to be made, but also a less intensive schedule and bigger paycheck for as much as showing up at a tournament. So how much have they earned? With six majors and 45 PGA Tour victories to his record, Phil Mickelson was among the first to declare support for the new tour. Several sponsors dropped him. But what does he care? Liv made up for it by guaranteeing Mickelson an estimated $200 million, half of which he most likely received up in advance. In total, the 52-year-old earned $138 million in the previous year, making him the highest paid athlete in the world in 2022, surpassing football sensation Lionel Messi's earnings of $130 million. But with his mouth-watering deal with Liv, Phil was finally able to surpass the $1 billion in career earnings. Former world number one golfer Dustin Johnson was another PGA defector and had earned $74,276,710 over the course of his career on the PGA Tour. But when Liv came calling with a four-year contract worth $125 million, Johnson was quick to accept. Johnson, who is now ranked number 17 in the world, was the first star to join Liv in May, and the 38-year-old golfer from South Carolina has earned $97 million in the previous year, including an estimated $62 million signing bonus from Liv. Johnson is now the world's fifth highest paid athlete. It was an easy choice, he says. Play less golf, play for more money. You might not agree, but we're sure Bryce and DeChambeau totally agrees as the 28-year-old earned $560,000 from his first live event in July, nearly tripling what he had earned in his seven prior tournaments in 2022 on the PGA Tour. Add the fact that he's likely getting $125 million as a guarantee from Liv, half of which Forbes estimates he received up front, you can understand why we believe he would agree with Johnson's logic. That $62 million upfront payout rocketed DeChambeau to number three among the world's highest paid golfers, with total pre-tax earnings of $86 million in the previous 12 months, and positions him as the 11th highest paid athlete on the planet, ahead of NFL legend Tom Brady himself. Impressive, right? Brooks Kepka closely follows DeChambeau and live money, but not in the off-course relationships. Kepka shot up to the top of the official world golf ranking for 47 weeks, winning the U.S. Open in 2017 and 2018 and the PGA Championship in 2018 and 2019. He has planted his dominance on the game. Since securing an estimated $100 million guarantee from Liv, he has made a total earnings of $8,276,100 so far in his few months as a Liv player after winning a Liv title in Jeddah. Another big name who's made millions of dollars from joining the Liv is Captain America himself, Patrick Reed, who starred for the 2016 Ryder Cup and was the 2018 Masters Champion, as well as a nine-time winner on the PGA Tour before joining the Live Golf. Reed insisted he was sick of the constant grind of the PGA Tour, saying, It wears on you as an athlete, as a person, as a father, and for me. I feel like this is the finest decision I've ever made. Now, I can compete at the top level while simultaneously preparing and getting ready for every single event at home. And even though I'll be grinding at home getting ready, I'll be able to spend time with the kids. Yes, maybe it was never about the money for Reed, but still, he has made some decent total earnings of $12,210,714 from the Live Tour while being a committed family man in just a couple months. Maybe the younger players are wrong for defecting, but for those who have spent longer on the golf course, the inception of the Live Golf Tour seems to be the perfect retirement plan, as they're all grateful for taking the decision to join the tour. Starting with Charles Schwartzel, a PGA Tour veteran who won his first and only major championship win at the Masters in 2011, making $1.4 million in prize money. Since he joined the Live Tour, Schwartzel's total earnings are already a whopping $8,135,000. No wonder he had this to say. Never in my wildest dreams did I think we could play for that much money in golf. The 2017 Masters champion, Sergio Garcia, was also part of the first wave to join the upstart Saudi Tour. When the Spanish golfer defected to the Saudi Back to Live Golf League from the PGA Tour, he reportedly received a whopping $125 million signing amount, and so far, he has a total earnings of $6,128,786. 
Sergio has said he made the right decision joining Liv, and it is nearly impossible to disagree with him, really. But while Sergio Garcia believes he made the right decision joining the Liv Tour, one player that might have doubts about his own defection is Henrik Stinson. Henrik Stinson's decision to join the Live Series cost him the European Ryder Cup captaincy, but the Live Series might have made him forget that with the large and immediate dividends he earned when he won the Live Golf Invitational at Bedminster, picking up more than $4 million for three days' work, and an additional $375,000 for his team finishing second, bagging a total earnings of $5,566,000 from the Live Tour in a short while. Is money the answer to numb any Ryder Cup captaincy loss? Louis Oosthuizen has said defecting to Live Golf Tour is about doing what is right for himself, his family, and his career. He said, I'm going to do what's best for my family, for me, and where I am now in my career. You know that that's a decision I'm going to make. And it seems to us he's achieved that with a whopping $5,395,167 total earnings from his Live Golf series. Moving on with Lee Westwood, signing details may seem unclear as various sources suggest that Live Golf signed him for $20 to $30 million. What is sure, however, is that the former PGA Tour player had earned $14.5 million in career winnings before joining the Live Tour, and now has a total earnings of $3,522,914 on the Saudi-backed franchise alone. I've had a longer career than most, it's my 29th season, but like you, if there's a pay increase at my age, I'd be stupid not to take it," said Lee, speaking about joining the Live. A great retirement plan. Another player whose name must be mentioned, thanks to his affinity for controversies, is Ian Poulter. The Live golf topic was the biggest controversy all through 2022, and Poulter was sure to cash in on it. According to various sources, Live Golf signed Ian Poulter for somewhere between 20 and 30 million dollars. I think golf has definitely changed for the good. The stigma of it being an older gentleman's game has definitely changed, and there's a lot of fun in and around the world of golf right now. The testimony of a man who has earned some extra $3,333,000 since signing sure counts for something. Speaking of veterans, there are also the likes of 2010 US Open winner Graham McDowell, who, despite his underwhelming form, has made more from three events on the Live Tour than he did in his last 15 starts on the PGA Tour, with about $2,373,381 in on-course earnings. And former world number one and two-time major winner Martin Keimer has insisted money is not the main reason behind his decision to venture over to the Breakaway Tour, but still has made $1,911,800 in earnings on the new controversial golf circuit. We have players like Peter Uline, who so far has bagged $12,814,786 in earnings and was awarded $4 million for finishing third in the 2022 Live Golf Points list despite being the world's 345th best golfer, has earned double his entire career earnings in a single week. In one weekend, he cleared more than the world number two Rory McIlroy with earned all season to top the DP World Tour order. Although Uline has been a famous figure since the PGA Tour, the arrival of the Live Circuit has completely changed his life. We also have a player like Matthew Wolf, who has earned $4,226,167 from the Live Tour and believes that the Live Golf Series format and schedule will help his mental health. To him, the Live Golf Tour is the lifesaver he needed. I haven't done many interviews recently, but I feel like I'm sounding the best I've sounded in a long time. Wolf, 23, of Jupiter said. At the tail end, we have Sam Horsfield, who finished no better than fifth in just seven events and has still earned $2,874,000. For context, that's roughly $150,000 shy of his career earnings during his five-year European Tour career. A long list of riches, something that live players will continue to enjoy moving forward.